I like your breakfast. Yeah, it's full of protein. Oh man. First meal of the day. So horrible. Why'd you do it? Because I want an Uncrustable. You should make that admission today. I could just really like Disney. <laughs> just smiling at the thing. You waved at me. <laughs> God. You may know me, I play Goofy over at the park. Oh, <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be good. That'd be cool. You have a ceiling fan in your room? Yeah. Sick, huh? It's so good. <laughs> okay. That's probably the best part about that room. Yeah, we were thrilled. There's cones over there. <laughs> you getting that? Which, which gym? I'm not going to kiss me. doesn't move, it it's just hits ass. you right in your fucking ass every single time you get in there. <laughs> every Who, single time you get in Who's there. fitting in here? Uh, I'd like to see Ian. him try to get in. Ian? Ian will fit in this one. Everyone's a cor Everyone's like, oh, I want the Corvette. It's like, eh, because they haven't driven the Porsche. You're not going to want anything else. <laughs> no? Oh, my God. <laughs> you can't even get in there, right? No. <laughs> Ian That's definitely can. It's cool for... Like four hours, and then you don't want to fucking drive it. So tell, if we had to come take it to, he has to go to the athletes meeting or the press conference. Who are you gonna pick up? Hello. Hey, come and get your car, man. What's going on? Come and get oh your. Oh my god! Leave this fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> are you taking it for a spin? I'm waiting for you guys. You guys come take it. Take, drive it to the press conference. Parking. Leave it in parking. Leave it in valet? It's just metal. Huh. I can't even get in this car. I'm trying to get in this car. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh. 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 Holy fuck. No. <laughs> Actually, I'm oh, it goes to... back more. That's good. Laura's filming. What's up, Fuad? Hey, Laura, what's up? Hey. Yeah, you can fit in here. Oh, yeah. I know I can fit. I'm small. I'm like 250 now. <laughs> Hold on. I want to come here and What do you mean press conference? The one you're hosting? Yeah. Yeah, but I'm gonna go work out right now. No, no, I know, but you said you were gonna pop by Ian's shoot anyways. Oh, you want me to bring? So why don't we just take? Why don't we just take the cars for a rip after the press conference? What time are you done? I don't know. I think the thing is like an hour, hour and a half. Oh, I'm saying, why don't you just drive it to the press conference? Where are you right now? I'm at a Airbnb. It's like supposed to be five minutes from the press conference. Just show up stunting on everybody at the press conference. <laughs> like, oh, Fuad's here. Fuck. <laughs> In my fucking baby blue vet. That thing's fucking sweet, man. I can't wait. It's wild. I never heard a car like this in my life. How do you get out of here? They already leave. Nuts are squished in this. <laughs> I feel like I can only see out half the windshield. You yeah. Know what I mean? Yeah. We're pretty low. How do you wash the windshield? Now the windshield wipers are just on full fucking black. Forever. <laughs> Truly 
a boomer now. I'm cruising in my Corvette in Florida. Oh, wow, <laughs> going, to, going to the golf course. Yeah. Going to Hooters. <laughs> Did you like that ride? No. You didn't like it? It's okay. Where's... Hi! We brought you a whip. I know you did. <laughs> you could just see it. What the f Where is... Take it out. What do you take it out? It's fun. I've had an order in on one of these for two years. <laughs> yeah, let me know when you get it. I'll flip it before you make a lot of money. Really? <laughs> yeah. Are you, the, are you the, the guy who's got the hookup? Okay, I'm gonna go for a quick rip. I'm a, I'll catch you after. Yeah. I'm gonna try to get I'm gonna try to get the first one. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm going by myself. St. Thomas is good. No. Okay. Have to tell me twice. <laughs> that little thing turn that uh turn that mode thing yeah turn it to where it's sport i think you're in sport that's track keep it in sport one more all right go back the other way there you go oh yeah, there we go it yeah. was in yeah there Don't get me getting out. It's not graceful. <laughs> well, would you? Oh my God! I'm buying one tomorrow. Fucking tomorrow, I'm buying one. I'm get one. This is ridiculous. That's crazy. Ridiculous. Holy shit! And in the Crocs. <laughs> Can't beat the my racing shoes. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. crazy. I think I might have broke my speed record. How fast? Is, how fast were you going? I can't say. I'll go to jail. Fancy. Fancy. You have to do cardio now, Laura. What'd you say? You have to do cardio now. I know. It was Halloween a few days ago. I hope no one dressed up because most of you are already most of you are already clowns. So no need, no costume needed. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Start with 20, you know. I got a surgically repaired bicep, Laura. They pick up 100 and just start repping it out. They'll be filming my third surgery. It'll be a collector's box set. There's a lot of talk about... Uh, people talk about like progressive overload is the only way to grow. Which is like... Of course you want the weight to go up over time and that's our goal but people should be using like form as their indicator as to whether the weight should go up or not you know what i mean we've talked about that before but it's like if your form isn't that's why there's this argument between like form over just like ripping heavy weight and just pushing weight and who gives a fuck about it at the end it's like it's because if the form isn't there What's the point of going up? Because you're already not controlling the lighter weight. So what makes you think you're going to control the heavier weight? Do you know what I mean? So it's like, I don't understand. Yes, there's a time and a place where you have to push yourself. You have to make the weight go higher. We want to stimulate growth. We want to like push ourselves harder to work harder. But it's like, you can still do that within reason with progressive overload with the thought of form being paramount over everything, right? So progressive overload can be five pounds. It doesn't have to be like, I just curled that 20, now I'm going to curl this 100. It's like, yeah, if I have the ability to do the 100 in perfect form, go for it. But odds are I don't. But it's like, you know, so be smarter about how you do things. Especially when it comes to like progressing in weight. Because it's just like, it's, you're going to get stuck in that mentality. And you're going to stick in that mentality and it's not going to change. And it's going to be the hardest thing ever to reverse you out of that mentality. I know that from training people training myself like so I kept pushing through injuries that were fucking me up or I was like in my mind like oh this is really not I really shouldn't be pushing through this but I'm gonna you know what I mean just because of pure like ignorance and pure desire to lift heavier weight but you'll think over time 
because even incremental changes in weight of five to 10 pounds happening over a year, if we start at five pounds, every few weeks we're going up five pounds, two pounds, the reps are getting, as soon as the weight gets too high and the form starts to fail, then back down to where the form was still perfect. Acclimate to that weight and that form being perfect. It could be a month, it could be two weeks, it could be a fucking one at one workout apart. But acclimate to that weight and that movement pattern and be able to maintain that form and then go up. There's no rush to go up. And these guys, like I said, they just go up for no reason. Eventually they get themselves to this point where they're just yanking shit, pulling shit, doing all kinds of stuff that's fucking completely useless for the development of their physique. Oh, this guy's a fucking loser. What'd you say? <laughs> this guy's a fucking loser, huh? There's a lot of girls nowadays, and I say girls because I've never seen a guy do this. Maybe there is a guy that does it, but uh, it's a fucking rare occurrence. This adductor machine, so girls, obviously everyone knows what the adductor machine is. If I sit here, oof, too fat. There we go. So if I sit here and I open up, Right? There's no need for someone to put a band around here, lean back into the band and open up. Yeah. The idea being, the reason why people are doing it is because if I have resistance pulling me forward, I push resistance back into it, engage my posterior chain, I'm able to elicit more squeeze out on my hips or my butt, whatever it is you want to fucking think you're focusing on. But it's as simple as doing what I just did there that I don't need a band. So if you have any idea of how to move, you literally sit here and start, tuck this chin in and back, put pressure back into your, post, your posterior and just rock. So I can stay up tall here and I can still rock open with as much tension as that band would be doing. Even if I just tuck my chin here and I sit here and I rip out and I don't get as much distance. This is a whole stack. This is a shitty machine. No offense to power and strength gym, this is a good, gym but this is a shitty machine so anyway if I understand that this head pressure not like just putting my head back for no reason but like even if my head's down I'm pushed here back up here and I'm tucked here and I'm elicited more contraction up my posterior chain I'm able to rock here and rock back in any line I want so I'm not leaning at this point because I have pressure back here so I'm leaning back into what you guys have as a band so I don't have to have a crutch or, a, or an assisting tool to where I'm like, oh, the band's there. Ooh. Oh, and half of you are just leaning back and looking up going like this. It's nothing to do with that. It's this and this. And, and like locking up my cervical spine and locking up my posterior chain and being able to move out wide with that tension here so my hips just move on their own. I'm not doing that. Rocking open, right? So all these like crutches or tools you guys use to elicit better feeling in the muscle is just kind of learning how to like move better. You don't need those tools. If that helps you, that's cool. But eventually, like we say at everything else, the training wheels have to come off and it's not the end all be all for your physique. Because once you learn how to move, you don't need all that stuff. Just like you don't need the bands on leg presses. You don't need the bands on this and the bands on that. Understand tempo, understand where your lockdown is, understand where you're holding tension. That's all it takes. No one in the history of bodybuilding that's been the top of the sport, okay, uses that band shit because every one of them, you know what they are? They're gifted when it comes to lifting weights. They understand tempo, they understand tension, they understand explosiveness, they understand control, all these things, right? They've mastered it. That's what makes you a good bodybuilder or a good lifter if you're just someone who likes to lift in the gym. That's all that matters is you focusing on how movement works for you. It's not like, oh, fucktard number one says to put this fucking band around here because look it helps all these girls understand they're rocking open it's like man you look ridiculous and then there's a pad behind you there's a this there's a that it's like you can just sit forward here and I could literally sit here and engage my glutes if I wanted I could hold on here and just push out as long as I know that my head's back and my spine's erect and I'm pushing out that's all I need to do and do you think you need to get like a, this range off your hip of like swinging out to here if you're moving on your glute the way you should, my legs are only gonna move to my right here. Why would they move any further? Unless I'm hyper flexible or skinny as shit, right? So, all these guys, like, I see these guys also, like, overloading the fucking adductor or abductor machine, sorry, the opposite of that. Putting, like, J 
gym pins in it, like jamming your legs together, holding so tight. It's like, guys, your abductors are so fucking tight. I'm surprised that you can even get into like a squat or bend over and touch your shoe. Like you're developing this inner thigh like you think it's the end all be all. Like don't get me wrong, it's important, but it also develops when you're doing full ranges of motion and allowing yourself to sit into the depths of squats. Like that's the whole point of my adductors. It's where they fire, right? This isolation work on adductors, like the simple fact that you think that because you can sit in a chair, add 45 pound plates to a stack that's already stacked out and think that you're and you're still moving it. You might have a little bit of a mechanical advantage there, guys, especially because your range of motion is four inches in and out. And you're just holding it. It's like I could fucking wrap my legs around a pole, squeeze the pole really, squeeze the pole really tight as hard as I can for 10 minutes and let go. Does that make my adductors grow? I might engage them more, but is it making them grow? It's the same thing with you guys putting all this weight. You're still only moving it this much. When it goes back out, there's barely any stretch. You're not moving into the hole. You're not lifting out of the out of the lift. You're not lifting your chest. So there's no not a lot of movement happening. So therefore, there's not a lot of growth happening. You're just getting really good at squeezing your legs together, which is maybe a good idea for some of you. One of my favorite things, as the music dies down, and no one's. <laughs> no, one of the favorite things I see in the gym, and I'm I'm not making fun of bodybuilders in any sense because I'm the same way. Like. But when you see like bodybuilders in the gym or like muscle bound people, when they have like these bursts of athleticism in the gym, have you ever seen it? Like what? what do you they're mean? like, I don't know, like they, they like forgot their bag. You see them run, they're like, it's just like this awkward run, but they think they look really smooth. It's like this like waddle, waddle run, or like you're like, their legs are just like winging like that. I'm not, I'm guilty of it too. I'm a fucking big motherfucker. And I haven't ran anywhere since I had my hip replaced, so my running looks pretty fucking awkward. But it's just funny when you see, like, I wonder what they think they look like in their mind, because I know what I look like. So you, <laughs> you, you have to look fucked up, too. Ooh. I hear there's a booth. No. No booth here? It's a lie. Okay. It's all lies. Imagine this is the wrong fucking door. So it's not normally dumped, the champ puts that up there. Uh, he put himself in a position, but his credit. The question is the brand, brand were, you, were you whining about losing the title to this guy? Seriously? I don't know what he's talking about. Nah, I don't know. <laughs> well, listen, uh, you got the task in front of you, like, uh, like our celebrity panel was saying. This is not an easy feat. It's not easy getting the title back. Nobody knows that better than Phil Heath. Uh, we put seven big the Derek bank, is. and then, you know, did try to come back and equal their all-time great eight. Uh, and then he'll be the first on the to retire. Inside. It's not an easy, it's not an easy Jeez, feat, my friend. Right. <laughs> Told you, right? Told you. What do you think? What do you think? Right? But there's a will, there's Who's a way, sir. Who's that guy? Uh, he's just setting up the booth. I think he's part of the setup. They're connecting the TV, so these are the AV guys. So as soon as they're done, we'll put everything away. And the, the hoodies are going inside the car. The car is going to be for inventory. For, uh, this is your first time on the vlog. Who are this you? This is my first time on the vlog. I am the, uh, the unfortunate soul that deals with Mike behind the scenes. I am the, uh, the CEO of, of Wicked. Also, uh, Mike's buddy. You know, we've known each other for a while, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm the guy behind the scenes. There you go. There you go. I'm the guy Mike's slaving to put this shit together. <laughs> That's it right. looks awesome, though. Yeah, it looks good. It looks really good. It looks awesome. But, like, dude, they're being crazy fucking anal, man. And then we need to give it a wipe down, which we'll do after. It's fine. It put you to work? Yeah. Job's never done, yeah. What's that? Job's never done.
between this and working at Dick's, I make ends meet, you know? <laughs> <laughs> this is tedious, huh? I know. Who's going to do this? I was doing it. My hands are too fat for this job. I get fired in a heartbeat. <laughs> Stickers. We should hire someone. Random person. Just one of the worst pack stickers. Anybody? 20 bucks an hour. Where do they go? Here? Maybe. That's all I did. Keep going, so go on, back in over a little bit. You gotta be all the way on the... Keep going, keep going, keep going. On the black carpet. Okay, yeah, we're good, we're on. We're talking, we just gotta move over. Yeah, black carpet more. It does fit, bro. I can measure. Out of what we have left, you need to verify that. Okay, straighten her out. It's on. It's on. Is your speed there or no? You're good. It's on. close enough. Good. Good. The fire marshal will be by at some point to check that the gas cap has tape on it and that the positive terminal has tape on it. Yep. Just so you guys are aware. The, you need the battery, right? The battery just has to be on the We got it, we got it, we got it. Cool. Yeah! Car's in, finally. Finally. Yes! <laughs> uh, we gotta open the trunk. We got it. Yeah? Yeah. Look at this. You know, we had strong men that could have pushed this in here for you. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't find any of the seat it's adjustments. It's a racing seat. It doesn't go back. It does today? Yeah. Oh, there. Yeah. Oh, that's just up and down. You did? Yeah, I had that truck. <laughs> last year. Yeah. That was before Mascalade I had that truck. It's a badass fucking truck. It's a... It's <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I like my truck better. Huh? I like my truck better. Yeah, that's different. Your truck is smoother. Yeah. We're at a secret location. Oh, did you get the key? I have a key. You got it? I put it in there. It's by the shifter. Yeah, we're here to 